Hey guys, it's Tim here, and today I'll be reviewing Articleize, which is a platform that allows you to create articles from anything that you can find online, from YouTube videos, Facebook posts, X threads, Quora posts, LinkedIn posts. You could do comparisons, uh, you could write with AI, and then you can post that directly to your WordPress or Tumblr blog. So I'm going to do a full review. In case you're interested, check out the link in the description for more information about the pricing, etc., and where you can get access to Articleize. Uh, but for now, let's dive into it. Let me show you how easy it is to create your post. So how it works is with Articleize, it comes with a extension, a Chrome extension, which you can find here in my browser. You can see this is a small Chrome extension. And basically when you log in, this is the screen that you will see and gives you an ID of what you can do. So for example, let's say we wanna create a article from a YouTube video. We click on YouTube video here and from here we can insert the URL and then we can provide the script. Now, instead of going this route, you can also do it a lot easier by simply going to YouTube. Once you have installed the extension, you can simply click on this extension when you have a YouTube video open. Let's say this was my recent review of Oh So Real. A very good one, by the way. If you haven't seen that, check this one out. But you click this extension and you're gonna click on get transcript. And what that will do is it will ask you if you also wanna use the video description as well. So I'm gonna select this. And now I'm gonna say proceed to articleize. So what this does is it takes all of your content from your video, you can see here, it took all of the uh, captions from my video here and it added this to articleize. So from here, I can simply click on next and I can choose what model, which AI model I like to use to create the article. So currently OpenAI GPT Mini, uh, the Pro, Flash, Mistral, Ministral, Cloud Sonnet, uh, and Llama and Grok are supported. Personally, I really love Cloud Sonnet 3.7. Uh, this one writes really well. Uh, language, you could choose from the supported languages that you're seeing right here, and then you can decide if you wanna have a table of content, if you wanna create images. So in this case, let's say yes, and it's gonna create an AI image. And then you can also choose the AI image model. So like Flux, GPT images, ideogram or Flux. So let's say GPT images here. You can say put text on images. If you'd like to have the text on top of it, you can do that as well. Uh, landscape or square, whatever you prefer and the image count. You can choose the writing style here. So unfortunately, I cannot show everything, but this is, is pretty basic that you're seeing everywhere nowadays, like funny, academic, uh, explanatory, explanatory, educational, like all the different ones are supported. So in this case, I could do a review because it was a review and you could say the target word count. So when I click next here, it's going to create a table of contents for my article. And there you go. So here I can choose and decide if this is what I want to use. I can also modify it if I like to. And I could choose my heading as well. And I can change the heading here if I like to change it. For demo purposes, let's continue and click on next here. And now it's going to write the article for me uh, based on my YouTube video. So this is the first option which you can choose to write articles. And there we go. So this took about 60 seconds. If you do not have an image, it will be much quicker, but you can see here, uh, it created an image here for the article. You can see here, the article has been written, how also real works, creating the characters, voice cloning capabil capabilities, product placement features. So it adds all the elements that I've discussed in that video here in this article, which is pretty cool. So another thing that you can do inside of the editor is you can simply work with the editor. So where you put your mouse button here, for example, you also have these availabilities here, these options. So here it says insert content by AI. So I can say whatever I like, I can say write about the benefits of using UGC in your business. And I can click on generate. 
and it generates a whole paragraph for me that I can use inside of my article. So now you can see it's generating this content and there you go. And I can redo it by clicking redo or I can use it. And now it's been added to my article in here. So if we want to do another thing, the second option here is we can insert a list. So I can say, what is this list for? Create a list of benefits of using UGC in your business. And now I can click on generate. You can also enter items in the list you want, but it's going to generate this for you. You don't have to do this. There you go. And if you like to, you can use this. You can copy it like this and paste it, or you can simply use it. And now it's being added to your article as well. So this way you will be able to use the AI functionalities. You can also insert a quote. So when you click on quote, it's going to generate a quote for you. So what do you want the quotation for? For the benefits of UGC. From what type of personality? Uh, a marketer. So let's see what kind of quote it comes up with. And this is going to create on the fly. And you say, today's digital landscape, user generate content isn't just content, it's currency, blah, blah, blah. Sarah Johnson, digital marketing strategist. Use this. And now you can see you have the quote also in your article here. So it's very flexible on how you want to use this editor here. So the next thing here is you can also insert stock images or generate images with AI. Now I'm not going to show you this. We all know how we can generate images with AI. You simply click on this, you give it this description and it will generate an image for you. You can also upload from your computer. You can get images from Unsplash or from Paxos and you can insert that directly inside of your article. Now, once you're satisfied, we go to the right menu to finish our article. So you can click on generate slug by AI. Basically, you click these three items here and it will generate it for you. So this is the website's look. Also, the meta keywords here that you can use for your article to rank on Google. Made the description here as well. Then we got the article info here so we can see it's in draft in English. The settings, so we can see uh, the settings here that we just chose. And publish. And this is the cool thing. So let me first save this article here. And if you connect your WordPress or your Tumblr blog, you can click here on publish and you can publish this directly to your WordPress website. Right now, I do not have a blog connected here, but I can do that by clicking this plus button here. And then it also brings me to blogs. When I click on add blog, I can choose if I want to connect any WordPress blog or any Tumblr blog. So when I click on WordPress here, I can simply enter my blog URL, the username and the application password. So in WordPress, you have the option to create a user with an application web password. And once you've added that, you can basically publish your posts directly to your WordPress or Tumblr blog. So that is an example from finish till end with YouTube videos. Now the same thing is for Facebook posts. Now you can click on this Facebook post, but again, you do not need that. So let me close this, let me close this, and let me go to Facebook here, because you can basically take any post from Facebook here, and you can articleize that Facebook post. So I've, I need to find something in order to create an article. Uh, but basically, you can do this with anything. So let's say we want to do this. It's not a good example, but so you see how it works. You select your Chrome extension and now you click on select post and start selection. So basically anything that I select right now, so you can see I selected this, I selected this, I selected this. Everything that I'm selecting right here uh, will be added. So if I'm finished, I can click on finish selection and I can say post data collected successfully, proceed to articleize it's now adding this information from my Facebook post to articleize. And now I can click next and I can do exactly the same to create my article. Now the content was not that much, so I'm not going to write an article for this, but you get the ID. Now the same thing for X, the same thing for threats, Quora posts, Reddit posts. So when you're on Reddit, for example, and you have a nice post, uh, you simply, let's say you want to learn Dutch, complete resource list and guide to teach yourself Dutch. So again, you click on the extension here 
and click on select post. Now, you can do a few ways. By starting selection here, you can say, I'm only selecting pieces of the post. So let's say you want to select this piece. Or if you're a little bit familiar with browsing with the developer option inside of your Chrome browser, you can see that you can select multiple pieces at the same time here. You can select the whole column at the same time. So now you can see I selected the whole column here which means I've selected the whole post on Reddit and I can say finish selection and proceed to articleize. And now it will drop all the information from the whole post. You see that with URLs, everything. So you can see here, the subreddits here. You can see all the URLs here that are in the post having pasted in here. So this is a complete guide and I can do the same thing. I can say next, I can say the language, table of content, Let's say we're not going to create images. We do 1200 word count here. Now it's going to write the table of content from the information that I've provided. There you go. You can go over it. You can choose one of the titles or modify it. Click on next. And now it's going to write the article for you. And this goes real quick, especially if you do not have images, the writing goes real quick. So having that set, the Chrome extension is basically everything that you need. Anywhere you're on a website, you can go there and articleize it. Now, there are a few other features, and let me first finish this. And it still took like a minute. Uh, and I think that's because of the long article that I pasted in here. But you can see here, mustering Dutch grammar, improving pronunciation, uh, recommended resources, etc. It wrote the whole article again. And again, you can use all the features on the top again. You can publish this to your WordPress blog, etc. Now, let me show you a few other features that are also in Articleize, which I think is cool. It's the product review. So when you go to product review, you can basically enter all your product information in here. So let's say you go to Amazon and we search for an article, it could be anything. So let's say we just click on here till we, let, let's do this one. So you can simply take this information from this page here. You can paste the product information in here and then the features. You can also go to the features here. So let's say these are the features of this product here. You can paste that in here. You can click next. And now you can also paste reviews in here. So when you scroll down to the review parts on Amazon here, you can copy the review. So this, in this case, this is Dutch, but it doesn't matter for demo purposes. You can paste one review of a customer in here. So you can click here on add review and you can add another review. So you can say this is second review here. I'm going to paste it in here. If you want to add another review, you can do the same. So let's say we're going to do a little longer one. This is the longer one here. And there you go. And we're going to click next. Now, normally this would be English. Um, if you're writing in English, let's see if we can write this in Dutch, actually. So let me select Dutch here. And then let's keep the rest the same. Let's click on choose style. So I'm going to do a review style here and I'm going to click next. And fast forward, you can see here that it created this article here for me, this review of this product. So that's another feature to write reviews. And here you can see the overview of all the articles that you've created inside of the writer. We can go to the next thing, which is product comparison. So when you do a product comparison, you could say, for example, here it says provide the items category niche, enter the niche category of your products. So phone comparison and then product review intro. Uh, discover if Samsung or iPhone is the way to go for you. I don't know, whatever. Click on next here. And now we have two fields. We have product one information and we have product two information. So basically what you're going to do, you go to Amazon and you open the Apple iPhone here. So we're going to take this description and we paste that into our article here. So that's the iPhone 16 here. And we're going to grab the information. So we can say the about section here. And we can even click on show more so that we have everything. So we're going to paste that in here. We do product two. And the more information, the better, of course. But you could say, OK, this is the Samsung here. We're going to paste that information in here. And then on the right side, I think here, see product information. We're going to 
copy this product information from Samsung here. So we're going to copy all of this, paste that in here. And you could even add more products. So this is a comparison between two. You can also do between three. But we're going to click Next. And again, you can fill out this information here. What kind of uh, post you would like to write here. It's going to click Next. It's going to write the table of contents again. Uh, and we just agree here. We're going to click Next. And let me show you the article. Here is the article with the image included that we requested. Ultimate phone showdown, Apple iPhone 16 Pro versus Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra. Uh, we got the overview of the article here. And one thing that I forgot to show you, now it says that Apple 16 Pro Max emerges as the recommended choice. However, when we go back to the previous step here, uh, you also have the option to choose your recommended choice. So if you want to have Samsung to be the recommended choice, you can select this here, recommend this product in conclusion, and then it will recommend Samsung as the favorite phone. So that's an option. So that's basically how it works. Here it works exactly the same. You just generate these slugs by AI. You save your article, you publish it to your WordPress or Thumbler blog. And that's basically how you write articles. Now, you can write any article, like I said. You could choose this option here to write with AI. And basically, you could type the content what you like to write. Uh, or another thing that I haven't showed you, and that's why I said you can write basically anything you like, is you can go to any website. So let's say you want to do something. Here's an example that I already used before. Let's say you want to do an article about keto or Cato, not sure how to pronounce that. But this is a website full of information. Then what you can do is you can select the extension here again, and you can select the content details. So start selection here. Now you can say, okay, I want to have this information. I want to have this information, this information. You can go over the page and select the parts that you'd like to include. Now, what you also can do is when you go a little bit to the left here, you see I can select elements. When I go to the left, the whole column is selected. Check this out. Now, everything is selected. So I can take basically this whole article. I can say finish selection, proceed to articleize. And now all this information is in articleize. And I can say describe the website content I'd like to use as inspiration for this article. So I can type anything in here. Uh, what I'd like to use, how I'd like to use this article, I can go next and I can write a brand new article from this existing article. And that is what you can do with Articleize. Now, when you have your articles here, like I said, you can publish them to your blogs. Another option is here at the top. You can export as Markdown or you can export it as HTML as well. So if you do not have a WordPress site, check this out. I just click this and now this is an HTML WordPress, uh, not WordPress, an HTML export as well and you could do markdown as well if you're familiar with markdown you can download that as well so inside of your blogs here you will have the option like i showed you to connect your blog you can connect to wordpress and tumblr a tumblr and that's basically what articleize is all about you can see it's super easy to create articles from anything that you find online uh, connected to your wordpress or tumblr blog or export it as HTML or Markdown. Uh, and those are the possibilities with Articleize. Hey, can you do me a favor? Hit the thumbs up if this video was useful to you. It helps me to rank my YouTube, uh, my video on YouTube. Also, again, if you're interested, check out the link in the description for more information about the pricing, available upgrades, some bonuses that you're going to get if you pick this up through my link. Uh, and for now, thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you in my next video. And uh, talk soon. Bye-bye.